Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to the first lecture of the MOOC course on design and analysis of experiments. In first half an hour of time, I will try to cover the following topics. First, we will define experiment with certain examples. Then experiments in terms of process models, where we will try to link with laboratory as well as industry based experiments. We try we will find out the key terminologies related to design and analysis of experiments, what are the different objectives of conducting experiments and analyzing the data pertaining to the experiments and a few cases, case examples where DOE can be used and how DOE will help in achieving the objectives and then a brief history of the DOE. Uh, I hope that within half an hour we will be able to cover this. The lecture material is prepared primarily based on the book entitled Design Analysis of Experiments by D. C. Montgomery, which is published by Willy and I follow the contents of chapter 1 and it is of the 8th edition of this book and in fact, uh, my subsequent lectures also um, will be heavily drawn upon this book written by Montgomery. So, let us first know that what is experiment. Before giving the formal definition, let me give one example. Suppose you are tossing a coin, then you will find out that after the after first trial you will either get head or tail. If you con repeat this second time again you may get head, head or tail and you can continue in this manner. This is an experiment because there are certain outcomes in this example head or tail will be the outcome and there is definite purpose of that toss also may be you are uh, in case of um, cricket you have seen that the toss is the first thing to happen and the part the captain who win the toss he will he will basically choose either head or tail and after the umpire or the referee uh, he um, tosses this. So, either one of the captain will win and the purpose is that captain will be able to choose whether go for batting or fielding fast. So, these things if we think uh, if we uh, analogously we will bring it to a production system, then you will find out that there are operators and there is a system uh, is given to him or her 
and the production system produces something and there are certain uh, quality of the output to be produced and accordingly there is a set of uh, process variables that to be controlled and the operator what he will do he will he will fix the uh, process variable uh, to the desired or the given uh, given range as per the specifications uh, and then ultimately process is run so now you think that you you have the, the operator has the capability as well as the he has the authority to do some kind of manipulation in the input as well as the process variables the output so that the output can be changed and purposefully changed and in order to see the effect of those process variables in the in the output quality uh, then it, it is also an experiment. Similarly, in the laboratory, suppose in chemical laboratory or chemistry laboratory, you will find out that suppose you are mixing to, uh, to, uh, to uh, maybe your acid and base to produce something some salt and then by changing the quantity uh, of the um, material acid or base material, you will find out different kind of uh, quality of the output. Uh, so, even even you will find out in the sociology side also, suppose someone is interested to observe the behavior of a certain system, for example, maybe the behavior of the traffic or maybe behavior of uh, some animals. So, there also uh, uh, some stimulus or stimuli can be, gener can be generated in such a manner that the ob subject here it may be the animal uh, will, will perform uh, based on the stimuli given the, uh, the performance or the behavior will be uh, may be different for different stimuli. So, purposefully if you control the stimulus side what will happen the output also be controlled. So, these are also experiments. So, given these examples so, I, 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 I am to read out the um, formal definition of experiment. An experiment is a test or series of tests in which purposeful changes are made to the input variables of a process or system, so that we may observe and identify the reasons for changes in the output response. So, experimentation plays an important role in technology commercialization and product realization. For example, the laboratory based experiments or prototype ba typing based experiments or large scale field based experiments also, these things are done in order to have good product, in order to produce good product in order to design product in such a manner that the defect during production will be minimized. Similarly, in, in, in case of manufacturing process development because when if you produce something in item or component or the product as a whole, it will be it will be produced through a manufacturing process and that process design itself is also very important one because the process variables will ultimately affect the product quality. So, how to develop a manufacturing process so that the product that will be produced will conform to the specification. So, the specification which are derived based on the customer requirements may be through a broad customer survey or market research. Sometimes what happened you are producing something with, with a given process, you want to improve the process may be in terms of extension or 
in terms of existing process performance improvement. So, in that case also the experiments can be conducted and the resultant data can be analyzed in order to find out the avenues for process improvement. So, as I told <coughs> the process is a very important one. Now, for this particular subject DOE design and analysis of experiments, I will use ab this the abbreviation DOE. So, in DOE the definition of process is not only is not the manufacturing process alone. Here we will define process a more ge generic way, more general sense. Here a process is something where some transpose, transformation will take place on to the inputs and as a result some value added outputs will be produced. For example, I told you that in a manufacturing, suppose you are manufacturing uh, some maybe steel you are manufacturing or you are manufacturing some uh, engine wheel rim, wheel rim maybe. So, <clears throat> that means what you require you fed uh, raw materials with certain other components to the process where some chemical and physicochemical a changes takes place and then out ultimately the either the oil rim or the uh, your molten metal in case of steel make steel making this will be the output. This is one kind of manufacturing example. Another kind of example may be that patients going to hospital and they will be they will be uh, will go through a process some steps like your you can say that starting from the appointment to uh, consulting the doctor to taste, then finally, give me medication and then ultimately the patient will be cured and he or she may be admitted to hospital. So, they are in the medication process also there are certain steps. In another way, suppose you are writing a program which will, which will, which will give you some output, suppose a prediction model you are developing. So, then the, in the program, the algorithm you are building, there are certain steps which will be executed then only the prediction model will give you the uh, desired output. So, that means a process means a series of steps either they, these are chemical, chemical, mechanical, electrical or uh, your service related like healthcare or it is algorithm whatever may be this there are certain steps which are taking place and these steps are uh, taken on the inputs and some outputs are um, outputs are produced. So, the process itself has certain characteristics, these characteristics are uh, named as controllable factors and uncontrollable factors. For example, if you are producing uh, suppose wheel rim and through a centrifugal casting process, then the speed of the process, the feed, feed rate. Uh, although and the molten metal flow all those things will be the controllable factors and there will be certain factors which may not be you may not be able to control maybe the ambient temperature during cooling after casting you will you go for cooling that may not be controllable so similarly the operator uh, uh, who are coming from different background and having different qualification different training level they may not be controlled so, in that sense whenever you do any kind of production or any kind of service operation there are there are there are many thing many parties involved one is the process itself which which is having two kinds of factors controllable uncontrollable as I given uh, examples. So, <coughs> the sole purpose of this process is to produce something or to either you perform some operation or you give some service or you produce something and th that what you are what perform what you are performing and what you are service you are giving or what you are producing 
all those th things those things will be tested with certain characteristics this is known as response of the process or in quality terminology known as quality variables the product will be have good quality the service should be of good quality the performance will be of the satisfactory in nature so now doe is applicable or you do experiment here in uh, in uh, how now you manipulate the controllable factors and also sometimes inputs in such a manner that the output quality or the response here that will be at the desired level or the variability of the output will be uh, at the at the at the desired range or you want to know the relationship between the output as well as, as well as the controllable factors or uh, also sometimes the noise factors so that means you do experiment in order to achieve something what is written in the left side of this slide you may be interested to know what are the most influential x variables for y means the contribution of which of the x variables is more on y you may be interested to no uh, no where to set the x or the most influential x such that y well the response or y will be always at the desired level or the nominal level or for at the nominal value similarly you may be interested to control the x in such a manner that in such a manner that such a manner that the y variability will be minimized or although j the uncontrollable factors are not being controlled during experiment because you are either you are not able to control it or it cannot be controlled because of the cost point of view so in that case is there any opportunity to manipulate the x in such a manner that the j effect on y will be minimized so that is what is the purpose of experiment what are the purpose of experiment at the first hand you please understand the experiment is done on a process what is a process a process is something which takes the inputs and converted into evaluated outputs and process is governed by two kinds of factors controllable and uncontrollable factors so the experiment use of experiment the objective of experiment is to know four things one is determine the most influential variable that is x on the response of y set the most influential x in in some value or some range so that the y will be always at the nominal value other hand also you set the controllable factor x in such a manner that y variability will be minimum so minimize the effect of z variable or uncontrollable variable on the output y so i want to extend it little bit i want to write something here how to write anyo let us let us move further because there are some more important so <clears throat> let us assume that the output variable is denoted by y x denote the x denote the controllable factors z denote the noise or uncontrollable factors and y is the output the experiment is done to find out why what is the functional relationship between y x and z so this can be told as y is function of x and z so when you do the experiment you get results of y x y and x 
जेड इज अनकंट्रोलेबल यू कैन नॉट मैनिपुलेट सो दैट यू विल नॉट गेट सो एसेंशियली व्हाट हैपेंड समटाइम्स यू मे एबल टू मैनिपुलेट जेड आल्सो बट दैट इज वेरी कॉस्टली एज आई टोल्ड यू बट फॉर द फॉर द फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दैट मीन्स इट्स यू विल कंट्रोल सो इफ दिस इज द रिलेशनशिप then from variability point of view i you can write that the variability of y is delta y and where in and, and if variability of f x is delta x and variability of z is delta z then this kind of relation ship can be written that you have seen so delta y will be del f by del x into delta x plus del f by del z into delta z delta y is the Where the change in y, delta x is the change in x, and delta z is the change in z. What is del f by del x? It is basically the coefficient, the relationship coefficient. If you change del x by delta x, what will be the change in y? That will be that will be finally uh, weighted by del f by del x. Similarly for del f by del z. From this equation. we can we can give some terminology for of doe here suppose you are interested to know what is this y is a function of xz or sometimes y is a function of x like y equal is a linear re relation beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus error so this is a linear relationship also you may be interested to develop this is nothing but y is function of x similarly it may be non linear okay but you want to know this you want to establish this then this is once you establish this this is known as process characterization so what is process characterization process characterization is knowing the relationship between y x and z to know about the input variable x and control uh, x and uncontrollable variable z controllable x uncontrollable z that will affect the output variable so y is function of x and z as i told you earlier most of the time this z will not be z will not be included in the function second one is the delta x why to say delta x so that the y will always be at the desired level so what does it mean by desired level suppose i know that my y variability is like this this is a normal this car and the mean value is here this is the desired value nominal value so you i say that this this is this y this is the nominal value or the desired value this value is go, is also controlled by x or affected by x so where to put this delta x so that y will be always here it will not be always here but it will be around approximately within this so this is known as process characterization eh hey, sorry process control y is f x z process characterization where to set delta x so that y will be at the nominal value that is process control then you have seen the another component is del f by this one del f by del x so to capture the changes of x that is del f by del x so that the value of y is minimized so you want to minimize the variability of y not value this is variability of y is minimized this is known as process optimization another one is very important one equally that you know that z cannot be controlled during experiment and z is uncontrolled variable but there may be relationship between x and z so if you encase this relationship and accordingly you you set x in such a manner that the the z effect will be nullified 
So, if we put delta y equal to 0 in the equation that delta y equal to del f by del x delta x plus del f by del z delta z in this equation if we put this one equal to 0 then you will get this. The beauty of this equation is mean then if you change x if you manipulate x in such a manner that that ultimately the variability of y can be further minimized and the effect of uncontrollable or noise variables that will also be nullified. So, if not completely nullified it can be minimized. So, this is known as robust design. With reference to process characterization, process control, process optimization and robust design, I will give you some of the some of the examples here. First example is the, a flow solder machine is used in the manufacturing process for printed circuit boards. The process engineer would like to conduct a designed experiment to determine which controllable variable is significantly affecting the output quality and also to find out the ways to reduce the variability of output due to change in the uncontrollable variables. Then what is required? This is a solder machine, flow solder machine. So, this is the process, process is the this one. Now, now the solder machine is the process. It has set of controllable factors, we have enlisted the controllable factors. Solder temperature, preheat temperature, conveyor speed, flux type, flux specific gravity, solder wave depth, conveyor angle etcetera. And it also has certain uncontrollable factors like thickness of the printed circuit board, types of component used, layout of these, operator, production rates, etcetera. So, if you want to do experiment, your first thing is that you must know the system. Here is the solder machine and how the solder machine will work under this situation when manufacturing of process uh, printed circuit boards and what are the inputs and what are the outputs. So, what are the controllable factors and uncontrollable factors? Here I have committed one mistake here that defect also I have written shoulder view is not correct. So, what happened the printed circuit board should have less soldering defects that is the purpose. So, once you do this then fact these are the factors you want to control these factors in such a manner that the defect will be reduced or minimized. Uh, my second example is here suppose consider a chemical process and you want to improve the yield of the chemical process and it was found that from the experts that the two important variables are reaction time and operating temperature. So, you want to conduct an experiment in such a manner that you will know that how reaction time and operating temperature will affect the yield. So, in the right hand side we have shown that this axis is x 1 which is reaction time and this is x 2 which is operating temperature and the uh, reaction time from 80, 80 minutes to 90 minutes and your operating temperature 170 degree Fahrenheit to 180 degree Fahrenheit this range suppose you have considered this range this is the upper range of uh, operating zone that is of interest and then then you created several settings here that first this one, second this one, third this one, fourth this one and also this is another one. But these four one, two, three, four these are at the at the at the corners these are known as basically factorial points that we will discuss later on. But for the time being you understand that you will be interested to know how 
that process yield how the process yield yield that is y that will be affected by x1 and x2 and you want to know what is this function x1 and x2 then process characterization if you want to say no suppose i want to i want to set x1 and x2 in such a manner that variability of y will be minimized that will be your process control if you say i want to i want to see that uh, that the influence of x1 and x2 uh, uh, trap that uh, that coefficient in such a manner that this will be minimized then it will be your process optimization so you may in be interested that there are some other para variables which is not considered here they may be acting as a noise variables uh, so that their effect can be uh, can be uh, what i can say partial out so in that case you may go for robust design My third example is a biomedical engineer wants to design a new pump for the intravenous delivery of a drug by varying the controllable factors which are already mentioned here and want to investigate which factors are the most influential on pump performance. So, there are, there are 8 controllable factors identified diameter of the cylinder, length of the cylinder, feed between the cylinder and the plunger, the length of the plunger diameter of the tube, the wall thickness of the tube, the material to be used in fabrication, the nominal pressure and and this pump performance basically new intravenous delivery. So, uh, what we want basically may be either the length of cylinder or diameter of the cylinder or feed between the uh, these things the uh, feed between feed between cylinder and plunger. So, they will be they will be uh, manipulated to just see that how best the pump will operate. Fourth example here is uh, maybe in the in the case of designing a aircraft engine. So, here what happened that the response and quality or the quality variable of interest are your fuel consumption and engine thrust. So, these are the these are the controllable factors. So, you want to design an experiment in such a manner that you will be able to do um, those things what we have that we have already the you are able to achieve the objectives like starting from process characterization to robust control robust design. So, here what happened actually yeah, the engineer is interested to use a computer model it is not that the in the laboratory all the real production stuff he will be doing the experiment he will be he will be using a computer model and their compute computer based experiments will be dev, will be developed ok. So, if we consider the three variable three where three factors usually this kind of uh, cubic uh, uh, diagram we will use and later on I will I, I will extensively see that uh, the from the from your rectangle to uh, cuboid to um, to the higher level um, that uh, geometrical uh, diag geometric will be using ok. Then in, uh, in the exam another example here suppose a biochemist is formulating a diagnostic product to detect the presence of certain disease the product is a mixture of biological materials and chemical reagents and other materials. So, your work is basically you want to see that how these three material will be mixed. So, that the, uh, the performance of the, the, the drug will be uh, maximum in curing the disease. So, in that case uh, this kind of this kind of um, design will, we, we will adopt. So, here you see that x 1, x 2, x 3 that 3, 3 uh, mix uh, material which will be mixed and this is known as mixture design and uh, there, is a, there is a good example and good literature available on mixture design which is also coming under experimental design. 
so <coughs> with this uh, uh, this uh, with these examples as well as the what i have discussed uh, so far so you must know that you must be able to uh, or you can say that define an experiment and you must be able to identify your problem in terms of a process model and when you find the process you must know that in a process there will be output variable which are known as response variable or quality variables if you are thinking in terms of quality more generic name is response variable which we denote by which we denote by y that is y there will be inputs there will be x and there will be x z input so so you this is what is the process so you must be able to based on your system or the problem at hand you will be able to find out this unless you are finding out this one then you cannot go further so once you know know the response variable and what what is the objective you want to achieve in terms of response variable given x and z and input then you work comes that how to how to set the controllable factors at what what will be the settings of different factors what will be the different labels of x and then how do you do the experiment and all those things will come primarily in this lecture i talk to you about experiment i talked to you about process model then we say that y can be a function of x and z and o, and we also have seen this equation delta y equal to this you have already seen so your process characterization process control process optimization and robust design those the concepts described here so all those things are done with the help of designed experiments but if you see the history of designed experiment it is not that one day development it is a great history and it started uh, in the agricultural origin uh, in 1918 by r a fisher and his co-workers primarily how to improve the yield from the agricultural land and uh, that that era is 1918 to 1940 and uh, and there are a lot of uh, what i can the significant uh, significant impact of this de designed experiment on the performance particularly the in the yield of ag agricultural fields and then uh, that time factorial design and analysis of variance these things were uh, extensively used and these many concepts were developed then after that uh, the other pioneers are box and wilson uh, actually in the in the in this period 1951 to late 70s they worked a lot and that means that from agricultural region to the industrial sector it has been basically translated there and but primarily chemical and process industries are heavily benefited out of this Uh, designed experiments and analyzing analysis of the experimental results and in box and olkan they they are uh, one, of, one of the theoretical contribution is the response surface and that response surface uh, will be uh, we, we will will be knowing also response surface in 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 the uh, in some of the lectures uh, we you will also know factorial design you, you will be knowing analysis of variance and how to do different kind of um the analysis using analysis of variance that also will be known to you then uh, then came to this quality engineering era which is basically primarily because of taguchi that quality improvement initiative and taguchi's robust design uh, robust parameter design and he also con uh, given the concept of process robustness from product robustness that time you will see that the, the uh, many many other uh, quality gurus were there deming uh, then your juran then your crosby uh, feigenbaum then uh, that taguchi and all but they have different contribution in different era particularly in this era taguchi that quality improvement all the techniques by deming juran crosby feigenbaum and taguchi's parameter robust parameter design mainly taguchi coined the word that quality engineering 
and uh, DOE plays huge role in the uh, quality engineering domain and Taguchi developed, uh, Taguchi given different kind of orthogonal arrays and their use and then uh, the pre present day that is the modern era 1991 onwards now what happened that lot of data are not only from experiment from other sectors also data is coming now. Uh, data analytics is a boom and in fact the OE data uh, this kind of data are also used because data coming from different sources and uh, <coughs> we will see later on that mean model then variance model there will be joint model like mean variance model and there are a lot of application of multivariate uh, statistical models and, uh, and new uh, developed techniques uh, that we that we will see uh, slowly. Uh, but this subject is a uh, this is this is basically uh, a, a design and analysis of experiment uh, this subject is design analysis experiment so it will be it's a basic subject all the fundamentals of experimental design analysis will be taught to you and the uh, uh, some detailed calculation will be given to you different small examples will be given to you and uh, there will be hands on hands on tutorials for you so I I am I'm, I'm hopeful I am quite hopeful that you all will be um, will be enjoying this subject and you will be learning this because you know the data will come design data will come from different sources also in laboratory scientists are developing in field engineers are, are doing it um, even the managers are also experimenting every day so uh, it's a huge it has huge ap application and uh, there are very good techniques also for doing this work will be taught to you. So, <clears throat> with this I finish this uh, first lecture, but at, at the end I must tell you that this is the book design analysis of experiment by Montgomery. This is an excellent book, there are many good books, excellent books available in the market. Uh, so, you can go through many other books also. Uh, as I have um, heavily um, gained by reading this book, so I, 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 I recommend this book, but it is not that there is no other book, there are many, many good books available in this domain. So, thank you all, uh, I appreciate your patience.